What is up everybody? Welcome to the gauntlet results video. We were able to finish the gauntlet, pick up that elite event card, Clint Capella. We maxed it out completely. So in this video, we're going to check out all of the draft board polls. We're going to check out that Clint Capella when it's all maxed out, show you how it compares to the rest of them. We're going to talk about those uh, pull rates on the right side of the screen. And I tell you, the last couple events, man, they have not been going good, at least for the elite pulls for me. Still getting them, obviously. You're going to get them eventually. But the pull rates have been pretty bad. We are going to talk about that as well. And also, if you're curious, when is the next tier coming out? Well, I checked on the Twitter page and it looks like, uh, let me check my notes. Um, it came out November 20th last year and the game dropped September 7th. So if you compare that to this year, it came out about eight days earlier, which means that if it follows the same pattern, we're looking at about November 12th with it, which is exactly three weeks from today. So I assume that there's going to be another king of the court another rivals clash and another gauntlet if it follows the exact same pattern and then exactly three weeks from today the new tier will come out but like i said um, that's just all speculation based on the twitter page from last year and how they followed i guess the schedule from last year hopefully we get them soon and hopefully it is not before the gauntlet hopefully we get a couple events before the actual gauntlet in the new tier but anyway First thing we are going to do is check out all of the polls from the drop board. All right, so checking out those poll rates on the right side of the screen, as you see, 307 resets. I was able to do the entire gauntlet with only spending about 400 credits, which is pretty darn good for me. So 307 total resets, 66% rare, 19 ultra rare, 8.8 .8 epic, 3.6 epic prime, 1% elite. Another bad week of absolute horrendous elite pull rates. Spinners was is the lowest that it's ever been, 1.9%. And all six of those, actually all six of those are spinners were rare. So I didn't even get ultra rare, epic, anything more. I didn't even watch the ad for any of my spinners. And just to show you how it compares to previous ones, this is the flash event, the one that we just had before this gauntlet. And you see, I only pulled one elite out of 100 total resets, which is exactly 1%. And then the rivals clash the week before, I pulled two elites at almost 200 resets. So if you're counting up complete total, that's about 600 resets for six elites, which means, uh, yeah, that's right at 1%, about every 100 resets. That's almost the max, which is pretty bad for me for three straight events. Um, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I'm getting dupes, though, so I can't complain about that, and I'm not picking up offensive supports. So I really can't complain about that either. Just the pull rates are really bad. So let's check out these cards. We got, of course, I took out all ultra rares. So we're only going to be looking at Epic, Epic Prime, and Elite. I did pick up a lot of cards for the catalog, like this Mikkel Bridges, which was nice. Kevin Porter, Epic Prime, which was nice. Um, Taj Gibson, this was a pro that I needed for the catalog. Omeka Okafor, I pick up that guy a lot. Avery Bradley, another pro that I needed for the catalog. Alfred Payton, my first elite pull. It is another center. I do have a ridiculous amount of centers. Like a lot, of, I, I think a lot, a lot of people have quite a few centers. This is not a dupe, unfortunately, so didn't help for the gauntlet. We got a Keith Van Horn, Darren Collison, a single epic prime, Greg Anthony, John Collins, epic prime, another single. Um, Murray with the Spurs, poor guy. But um, another single. I think all of my Epic Primes were actually single. Um, here was a, another dupe, which was nice for the catalog. Cephalosha, which was one I didn't even have. Didn't even have the single, which was nice for the catalog as well. Harvey Grant, Chandler Parsons, picked up a lot of him. Tyler Zeller was a pro I needed. John Wall, a point guard, not a center, thank goodness. And it was a dupe, so that is good. It helped with the gauntlet. You really only needed 10 elite pros to really do the gauntlet at the plus fives. You need probably 15 to do it at the plus sevens at minimum, you know, at minimum. 
Um, Rubio, Augustine, I pick up him a lot. Josh Richardson, another single. Dario Saric, another single. Uh, DJ Augustine, another him, and another Omeka Okafor. Miles Turner, another single. I picked up tons of Epic Prime singles. Nerlens Noel in the gauntlet, of course, and I didn't have it in the gauntlet, and so it added to the pros. And then another elite Al Jefferson, and I think Al Jefferson was the one I picked up for my 5K reward. I, I think that I'm remembering that right, but anyway, it was a dupe, so that's really good. So that made me have 12 elite pros. Like I said, you really only need 10 of them to do the plus fives, so that helped as well. Oh, this was actually a pro. So I did actually have one Epic Prime Pro. So that was cool. Spencer Dinwiddie didn't have him as well. And then there is the Clint Capella. Thanks to everybody that came out and watched the stream. Definitely a lot of fun on Monday or on Friday and on Sunday, which was really cool. Um, but that's what he looks like. I mean, really good. Of course, he's not going to replace my DeAndre Ayton, even though he does have better defense. Actually, I might end up putting him in there just to try it in Rivals Clash to see if he can beat out on the defense using the defensive supports to see if he can win matchups versus those um, Elite Pro event cards. We'll see how it goes. But that is all of the polls from the poll rate or from the draft board. Let's go check out this Clint Capella. All right, so there he is, all maxed out. You see him, the third best elite event card, and uh, comparing him to DeAndre Ayton. Um, I mean, obviously the offense is a little bit worse, but a lot better defense and a lot better rebounding and playmaking is a little bit worse. And, you know, that makes sense. Obviously DeAndre Ayton, more of an offensive score type of person, not as good as defense, but still a pretty solid rebounder. Um, like I said, I want to try, try him in rivals clash to see when I use those when I use those support cards, if they can beat out stuff like Jason Tatum, you see Jason Tatum 1605 on the offense. So just straight up, it's not going to work. We need Clint Capella to not only activate, but we need him to use that support card to see if we could win. Cause there's, you know, it's quite possible that when you play them, you know, they're going to activate cause they have a 60% chance most likely. And, uh, it'll probably activate anyway. So We'll just have to see how it goes, but uh, still looks pretty good. I mean, looks like a good card. I still wanted higher defense, but that is what it looks like. All maxed out. What do y'all think? How many of y'all actually finished the gauntlet? I know on our team goes, we did get all of the rewards. We got close to 30,000 total points, which means I believe 13. I think I'm remembering this right. 13 out of the 15 people. Uh, finished the entire gauntlet, which was really cool. We're getting close to almost everybody always getting the event cards, which is awesome. Hopefully for the next event, we're going to have those throwback Thursday and rookie card perks in there. And if it is, man, that's going to be the time to really want to grind because we want those cards to be able to uh, use those perks for the events and stuff. That's going to be really exciting, but that is going to do it for the video. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, Please hit that thumbs up, and if you are new to the channel, hit that sub button. Also in the description is a link to our Discord if you haven't checked it out already. And like I said, I think three weeks seems about a reasonable time frame. Three weeks from today will probably be the new tier, but anything could happen from now till then. So uh, until the next video, until the next Flash event or stream, I will see y'all later. I am out. Peace.